It's NCAA tournament time, and we have local teams in the big dance. Our team report tonight takes us live to Buffalo, New York, and Waco, Texas. And we start first with Kelloland Sports Director Sean Bauer, who gives us a closer look at tomorrow's matchup between the SDSU men and Providence. Good evening there, Sean. Good evening, Dan. Well, the South Dakota State men have been making history all season long, from setting the program record for wins in a season with 30 to becoming the first ever Summit League team to finish conference play undefeated. And on Thursday, they'll have another chance to add a chapter to their history books. South Dakota State comes into the NCAA tournament on the nation's longest winning streak of 21. A 22nd straight victory would give the Jacks their first ever NCAA tournament win. This time of year when you're still playing, that, that means something, and especially for programs like ours. And, and to have the opportunity to play against uh, Providence, the Big East champs, we're certainly excited. Standing in the way is a big Providence team whose entire starting lineup stands six foot four or taller. One of their biggest strengths is on the glass. And we got to make sure we're limited to one shot and, and, uh, and, and do a really, really good job. And it's going to have to be all five guys, you know, because we're going to be tangled up in there a little bit. So one key to handling the size will be the health of forward Luke Apple, who had to leave the Summit League championship game early due to injury. You know, he's, he's, he's worked hard on, on rehab and, and uh, you know, it's been getting more and more active in practice. You'll see him out there shooting around today and, and we're going to practice a little bit later and he's going to He's going to give it a go. SDSU will counter the Friars' size advantage with its outside shooting as the Jacks lead the country in three-point field goal percentage. You know, being able to have a lot of people that can shoot on the perimeter, um, uh, the defense can't help you know, as much, and so that opens up more gaps for us to drive and then also for our post players to you know, have one-on-one -on -one matchups, which we really like. I don't think they take bad shots. I think they know their personnel. Uh, you can see they have a lot of offensive synergy and continuity. Uh, I think what makes them that much better is just how simple they are. You know, uh, very, very hard to guard. While the Jacks may be the 13th seed and the underdog, they are a popular upset pick. Well, it's it's something that you can't really hide, to be honest with you. Like, like, like the win streak, like, like those types of things. We, we don't talk a lot about it. You know, when the ball goes up tomorrow, we're going to have to, you know, um, do what we've done all season. Um, can't change anything now, so you just got to stay locked in. South Dakota State and Providence play tomorrow at 1140 Central. That game will air on True TV. You can also follow the action on our live blog, which will be available on our website before tip-off. And that concludes our coverage from Buffalo today.